بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. We begin with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, and we praise Him and we seek His protection from all the evil, and we send blessings to our beloved Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم to his family and to all those who follow him in righteousness. I have decided to begin a series of uh, lectures which will deal with question and answers. It is mainly based on the website islamqa.com from which questions related to Islam, related to the basic fundamentals and tenets of Islam and some other topics that would be of interest to the Ummah inshallah will be taken and uh, be mentioned over here in this program this program is in the beginning stages and inshallah we hope that you will find it beneficial and you will suggest in the uh, suggestions and comments below uh, the questions that you are interested in that, that I can inshallah pull it out from the website and uh, from other sources if required and put it up over here in the videos that we are we are actually producing so the first question that we decided to take was um, is based on the most important fundamental of Islam which is Tawheed monotheism the first principle the first pillar of Islam which is the uh, worship which which uh, incorporates it it mentions that none can be worshipped other than one God uh, it's the most important fundamental of Islam. So we de I've decided to uh, use the most important fundamental questions first and inshallah go more into the fiqh of Islam and some fiqh questions in the future. So the first question is how can a person achieve Tawheed or true belief in the oneness of Allah? Tawheed can actually be translated as monotheism uh, in English so the the answer is praise be to Allah praise be to Allah and blessings and peace be upon the messenger of Allah alayhi salatu salam you have asked may Allah bless you about an important matter which is easy for the one whom Allah makes it easy we ask Allah to make it easy for us and for our Muslim brothers to attain all that is good it should be noted that achieving Tawheed or monotheism or true belief in the oneness of one God, one Ilah, Allah, can only be done by testifying truly that there is no God but one God, that is Allah. Allah in Arabic, just for the people who are not aware of the fact of the Arabic language, the word Allah is actually used by um, Arab, uh, you know, even Christian and Jewish Arabs who and pagan Arabs from the past few thousand years, you know, the, the word Allah is used for the one and only God who is known as God the Father in, for example, in Christianity. So that one true God, the creator of heavens and earth, the creator of the universe is known as Allah in Arabic. So the true um, Tawheed or true belief in the oneness of Allah can only be done by testifying truly that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah Achieving this is of two degrees one that is obligatory and one that is mustahab Mustahab means which is recommended which is uh, virtuous the obligatory the obligatory decree is achieved by means of three things one giving up shirk shirk means associating partners with other others with Allah associating others other gods with one God in all its forms major minor and concealed Two, giving up bida or innovation in religion innovating in religion in all of its forms smaller or bigger forms three giving up sin in all of its forms so the mustahab degree is that in which people may vary greatly and it means not having anything 
in the heart of attachment to anything or anyone other than Allah. So the heart is focused entirely on Allah and pays no attention to anything or anyone else. He speaks only for the sake of Allah and his deeds and actions are all for Allah and all his thoughts are focused on Allah. May he be glorified and exalted. Some scholars describe this degree as giving up something that is permissible giving up something that is permissible so as to avoid something that is forbidden a very important point especially for those who are striving who are striving to achieve tawheed who are striving to achieve the first pillar of islam giving up something that is permissible it is allowed for you to do and so that you may avoid something that is forbidden that includes actions of heart tongue and physical facilities in order to achieve these two degrees certain things are essential number one knowledge otherwise how can one attain tawheed if you don't have the correct knowledge or true belief in the oneness of Allah and act upon upon the tawheed upon it if he does not know of it or understand it each accountable adult must learn about the oneness of God that which will make his beliefs words and deeds correct than anything more than it more than is a bonus more than that anything else is a bonus number two to be firm and certain and deeply rooted in the belief in that which was narrated from Allah Azawajal, may he be glorified and his Prophet Muhammad وسلم, of reports and words of Prophet Muhammad وسلم. number three obedience to the commands of Allah and his messenger وسلم, by doing that which is enjoined and avoiding that which is forbidden the more a person achieves these things the stronger will be his tawheed, his monotheism, and the greater will be his reward. Our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, may Allah's peace and blessings salawat be upon him, has explained to us that the one who attains the highest level of tawheed is the one who is promised that he will be with the 70,000 who will enter paradise without being brought to account. And we ask Allah for his bounty. In Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih al-Muslim, it is narrated that Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased, be, may Allah be pleased with, with him, said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said that the nations were shown to me, and I saw a prophet with a group of men. Then a huge crowd was shown to me, and I thought that they were my ummah, my followers. But it was said to me. This is Musa and his people, Moses. But look at the horizon. I looked and there was a huge crowd, greater than Musa's followers. Then it was said to me, look at the, the, uh, look at the other horizon and the other direction. And there was another huge crowd. It was said to me, this is your ummah. And among them are 70,000 who will enter paradise without being called to account or punished. Then he got up and went into his house, and the people started discussing those who would enter paradise without being called to account or, or being punished. Some of them said, perhaps they are, though, they are the ones who accompanied the Messenger of Allah wasallam. Some said, perhaps they are those who were born in Islam and did not associate anything with Allah. And they mentioned several ideas. Then the Messenger of Allah, he came out, alayhi salatu salam, and, they, and he said to them, What are you discussing? He asked. They told him, and he said, They are the ones who did not perform ruqya or ask others to do so, and did not believe in omens, and did not use cautery, and they put... The, their trust in their Lord. Ukasha ibn Mihsan 
stood up. He was sitting amongst the Sahaba, one of the companions of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi and he stood up and said, Pray to Allah, Ya Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Ya me Messenger of Allah. Pray to Allah to make me one of them. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi he said, Insha'Allah, you will be one of them. Another man stood up and said, Pray to Allah to make me one of them as well. Then Prophet ﷺ, he said, Okasha has beaten you to it. The phrase did not perform ruqya or ask others to do so means they did not ask others to perform ruqya for them. Although asking someone to perform ruqya is permissible, it is contrary to that which is better. It is permissible, just like it was said in, in, uh, in the beginning, that to achieve pure tawheed, sometimes you will leave that is permissible in order to protect yourself which is, which is, uh, from, from which that is haram. So it is something, ruqya, which is permissible. However, it is contrary to that which is better, that is having complete trust and faith in Allah. The phrase, and did not believe in omens, means that they did not believe in omens based on birds or anything like anything else about which people are superstitious and may give up something that they had decided to they had decided to do because of these superstitions superstition in islam is haram it's forbidden and it is a form of minor shirk the phrase and did not use cautery means that they did not cauterize with fire to treat sickness even if it is proven to be beneficial even it is proven to benefit somebody because the prophet ﷺ disliked it and forbade it and because no one can punish with fire but the lord of the fire and this is why you leave it and allah azawajal he perfects the tawheed through these actions for you and one of them is to leave cauterization the common thread in these three characteristics, the common thing in these three characteristics is that they put trust, they put their complete trust in their Lord and their Rabb. That is, they attain the highest degree of trust, that is tawakkul. And they did not pay the slightest attention to the means that, uh, and they, they did not put pay the slightest attention to the means and they did not depend on them rather they depended on their Lord alone may he be glorified tawakkul trust in Allah is the summary of faith it is the summary of faith as Saeed ibn Habib said indeed it is the ultimate aim it is the ultimate aim as Wahb ibn Munabbih rahimahullah said in question number 4203, you will find further discussion of this hadith, so please read it, and Allah knows best and is most wise. This is the question that can be found and the answers that can be found on islamqa.com, and I urge pe the people to further research this topic, because Tawheed, monotheism, obviously, it is such a great and vast topic that cannot be summarized and that cannot be mentioned just in a few minutes and explained in a few minutes. But however, the essence of it, inshallah, I hope is mentioned uh, and is beneficial for you and it is uh, understood by you. I hope, inshallah, it will benefit you and it is understood by this question and this answer that is mentioned. There's a note that is being put in over here. Achieving true tawheed or belief in the oneness of Allah cannot be achieved by mere wishing or pretending or by empty claims that have no real essence. Rather, it is achieved by means of firm belief that is rooted in the heart by achieving true ihsan that is confirmed by a good attitude and righteous deed. Ihsan, which means the, the true consciousness and the, you know, uh, understanding that Allah Azza wa Jal, God Almighty, is with, he is uh, with every person with, by his knowledge and he is watching us day and night, each and every second of the day. This is true Ihsan that is confirmed by a good attitude and righteous good deeds. The Muslim must hasten 
to make the best of every moment of his life and hasten to do good deeds and acts of worship. We should ignore the hardship and enjoy the pain for that which is for that which is with Allah is precious, for that which is with Allah is paradise and Jannah, which is the main goal of each and every individual, even not only Muslims but even non Muslims. And I pray to Allah Azza wa Jal that He gives us the ability and He makes us enter paradise without any accounting. This is from uh, Al Qawl Al Sadid Ala Maqasid Kitab al Tawheed by Shaykh Abdul Rahman Al Saadi. May Allah, be, may Allah be pleased with him and have mercy on him. أقول قولي هذا أستغفر أستغفر الله لي ولكم وآخر الدعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك ونتوب إليك. Like I said, if you have any questions that you would, you are interested in, inshallah, you can leave the questions in the comment below. جزاكم الله خيرا and السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.